So for my first review, I'll be joining in on SourceFed Movie Club. We'll be reviewing Who Framed Roger Rabbit, rated PG. It was released in 1988, uh, billed as an animation comedy crime. Definitely is all three of those. The summary, uh, a tune-hating detective is a cartoon rabbit's only hope to prove his innocence when he is accused of murder. It has Bob Hoskins, Christopher Lloyd, Joanna Cassidy. Those are the real characters. It is called Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but it is more about Eddie Valiant. He is the detective that Roger Rabbit has uh, chosen to try to help prove his innocence from this uh, murder that Roger has been accused of, the murder of Mr. Acme, who owns Toon Town, where all the Toons live. Eddie, in the past with his brother, used to assist Toons with their cases. It shows some newspaper clippings. He helped Goofy get acquitted of uh, spying. He returned uh, Daffy's cousins. Not Daffy. Yeah, Daffy. Daffy's cousins. So it's a pretty good movie. It is really like an earlier iteration of my uh, generation Space Jam, where it is blending the real world and the cartoon. For being released in 1988, I was very impressed with the animation and how well the actual physical people were able to interact with the characters that were later put in with the animation. There's parts where uh, Valiant is coming down the stairs and there's the hippo. And that was very well done, I figured. For 1988, even for today, the movie does hold up extremely well for today. I had watched it prior, but definitely didn't remember all of it. Um, it's filled with twists and turns, the ending especially. The one thing I do remember from my initial watching of it was really uh, the Murphy bed that Valiant has. Uh, I now have one that was mainly from this movie. And I don't want to leave out the uh, fact that there's so many uh, cameos by cartoons, which is interesting. There's, uh, who comes in? There's Sylvester from Sylvester and Tweety. Tweety. Tweety's there. Pinocchio. There's Dopey from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Uh, Wile E. Coyote. Roadrunner. Goofy. Bugs Bunny. Donald and Daffy. They have a nice little piano playoff. It's pretty comical. Betty Boop shows up. Uh, black and white. She's always awesome. The Yosemite Sam is comedic relief there. Uh, Marvin the Martian. There's also uh, Dumba. She scares Eddie. Uh, it's pretty great. I really enjoyed this movie because it does keep you guessing. Right until the end, I thought I had it figured out there. I would just grab it, but it pulled a 180 on me. Totally tricked me. Christopher Lloyd is great, as always. He's a wonderful actor. Back to the Future. Um, also, he was... Uh, Stephen King, Clive Barker, what was it called? The Quicksilver Highway, that's what it's called. It's really good. Um, Christopher Lloyd. But back to the movie there, so at the ending, it definitely pans out. Not how I had expected, but it's definitely worth watching. And uh, everything does get tied up nicely. Valiant gets what he was looking for, and Roger Rabbit gets what he wanted back. I would also go along with the IMDb rating. I'd give it probably an 8 out of 10, and uh, that's how it'll be, 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is... Holy... Sh it's called Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but it's really more about Eddie Valent. He's the detective who is trying to... Well, not trying to, but has to really try to prove... It's called Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but it is more about Eddie Valent. Valent, whatever. For most of the story, he is the detective that is trying to...